And so let's go with the uh, welcoming and the uh, changes for any agenda or public comment. Anybody got any comment? Okay. I have some housekeeping stuff I can go in after your business is done. Okay. So we're going to discuss the uh, mailing ballot to all voters, about $2,000 cost, possible action items. So do we want to put it out there that they can come and get their ballot, or do we want to mail them all out to everybody and do it that way, as we've done in the past due to COVID? I know. I'm trying to remember. Kim, Kim had a good explanation as to why we did that. I feel like last well, year. The history of it was just the last yeah. three years. Prior, kind of ask, show up. That's right. And okay. During COVID, the state mailed it everybody. Right. This right. Is the first year, 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 22, the select board had the same discussion you have okay. right now and okay. said, nope, we're going to make them come in, sign it out, or order okay. it. We're not okay. going to mail it. So Krista was looking at that again because she's yep. on the agenda. She goes, yeah, I look back at the records. There's there's about two or two to three hundred that vote from the floor prior to COVID. The year that the state mailed it out, they got up to a thousand back voted. And then during COVID, when it was still a ballot, but they had to request, it was like 400. Interesting. Yeah, so I didn't hear those numbers that way because yeah. three, every year is a little different. So right. this year, I'm expecting if you say more vote, come back in, we'll go back to the two to 300 that actually go to town meeting day and vote, which is where all your ballots usually get. I really like the, the fact that people are being heard. If, you're, if we're getting that much of a response, is it worth the $2,000? That's what I'm, well, my, I'm my... <laughs> that, that was Chris's point. I'm like, I. There's a, there's a whole bunch of pros and cons. There really so, is. Like a, like a board. Yeah. And, and I, you know, because I'm sure everybody, because everybody knows I'm a Democrat, I think I think you can mail it. <laughs> and I don't. You know, because it's it's not hard in Vermont to get a ballot. Okay. All you have to do is pick up your phone your request, yeah. and ask for the ballot. <laughs> okay. And and so and again, the only thing that you know, the only Australian ballots that we're doing, you know, are the are the offices and the, you know, and the bond that we need to for the for the fire truck. Um, so, if there was more on there, I would say we should mail it. But being just those two items, I don't really feel that. So just go back to the old system where they request it. Yeah. Well, just as, as it's always been. And of course, you yeah. can, you know, you can put, you start putting in front porch for them now. Right. You know, here are the two things that we, that you, that are Australian ballot at town That's meeting. Right. That would, sorry, that, what you just said made me think this would, if you did mail them, this, that would be the fourth option because the ballots were mailed by the state last time and all the articles were here. If you mail them this time, it's the first time you do it on your own. For two but articles. there's only two articles exactly. because you're still going to have the four vote. Right. So all of them are a little different. So yeah. Right. You, you may not get it. And I think the thousand was every article was voted by ballot. Right. right. Exactly. So it's a combination of things. Right? Yeah. Here you're not going to get that because of the way you order it. Well, right. and, and the two select board seats, neither is contested. Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> right. Talk about a yawner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so like, nobody's like, running in Brian's spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Shannon Savannah. 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 Who? Right. Savannah Droney. Droney. Yeah. yeah. She's the only one. Yeah. yeah. And then you, and only yeah. you for your seat, right? Yeah. So <laughs> this, this is definitely not worth two thousand dollars. It's really not. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> Yeah. So I to and and again, you can. It's always it's so easy to get ballots in the state of Vermont. Yeah. You know that it's it's uh, just. And I do think more and more people are getting out to vote than have been in the past too. So I think, and that people are going to want to come to town meeting because we haven't had it for how many years? Three. Three. So I feel like we might get a turnout. I don't know. Maybe no, not. this will two years. It was 21 and 22. Right. 20 was March 20. Oh, yeah, yeah, just the pandemic. That's right. I was thinking that that's right. Right. I was thinking that, that we year just made it yeah. that's right. We did just make it through. Yeah, so we're talking about the two year. Two years. Okay, I was thinking three. Yeah. Feels like 
forever. <laughs> Generally speaking, if everybody wants to get back to normal, I think. Yeah. But there are some risk factors out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. My mother went down with it yesterday, and yeah. Melanie's mother went down oh. with it three days before, you know, Vermont and Connecticut. But, you know, they're both on the higher, so they're older, so they're less higher medications. So. Sure. Yeah. So it's, a, it's still going to be around. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So it's not, we can't protect everybody. We did a Kim visit the other day. Oh, yeah. Papers. Oh, yeah. So Kristen was extra careful to go through the building because she's still not ready to come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think she said four to, four to eight more weeks. Yeah. yeah. So Chris is doing good catching up and learning and stuff. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, it's like just lots of day-to-day -day check off list stuff that if you don't do it three or four times, it's all new. Yeah. yeah. So we're working together trying to get through it. Now, so, after, so do we, do oh, we right. need a motion that we we're not motion. doing it? <laughs> Uh, ballots are a separate issue. I think you should vote it just because it's uh, why not? Blah, blah, blah. You know, people might want to know. Right. That. And they can say, well, if you were at the 31st meeting, you know why. So, yeah, you should have a vote. I mean, it's a request from uh, Kim or Chris to clarify what, what right. they're sure. supposed to do. So they don't want to be the way right. to make a decision. Yeah. So, so I the census is that what, we yeah. not mail ballots to everyone. Um, primarily because there are only two items on the ballot. Two of them are non-contested election seats, select board oh. seats, and um, and one of them is for a uh, is just for a bond for buying the fire truck. So it's not mm -hmm. as though there it's there are a lot of issues, and that it's very easy um, to get a ballot. All they need to do is call the town clerk's office and. And uh, they'll get their ballot in the mail. Second. Okay. Any other discussion? Seeing none. Uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, abstaining? The ayes have it. Okay. Get that done. We're in the draft in 2024 town budget. Uh, approved for town voters consideration. So I, um, there wasn't much different change from the prior. It was just the uh, additions for the. Yeah, I can go over the changes since your last uh, yeah. version last week. If you want to do that. Is this the one that went out about four thirty, right today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. The most yeah. This is ready to and, be and between between three th three thirty and when I come here, I'm usually super busy. Yeah, no, that's good. We can take our time on it. I have uh, the prior version was last Thursday. It was last. It was last week sometime. And the the tax rate increase was five point six five, which is yeah. what you see tonight. But there were changes. Uh, the county tax letter invoice came in, which was two thousand more than we had in the draft. Okay. The Conversation I had with Mark French regarding hires. This kind of it's a bigger discussion. I'll see if I can distill it. Right? <laughs> For years, Mark has been doing tires, and he's he's got the skills and the kind of the forethought to try to manage that cost. So he'll come up with this truck needs new tires, but can we get away with retread? Do we have to replace them? Can we get another year? You know, so every truck has that little story. Yeah. Sometimes it's the use. Sometimes it's what the truck is doing. Whatever. So it's not like you can program it, but we tried a couple of years ago by creating this tire line in the budget yeah. to say, we should get a hold on this because we got stung twice on greater tires, which were $10,000 for six tires or something. Yeah. And that happened again. And we're like, okay, let's see if Mark can spend some time on it. And I think when he was looking at it, he just, there's no way. I don't have a good enough magic ball to tell you if 6,000 should be 7,500 or 5,000. There's just no way to manage that line. So he's, when I talked about money, let's go back to the old way, which is under your heavy equipment line, which is 65,000 next year. They'll manage it within there. Mm -hmm. So the reason we did that was primarily for the grader. The grader has its own little story. It's coming up for replacement right. in two years, which is when he would generally need that 6,000. Or trying to work it into the plans about 
but if you get new grader, you get new tires. So he doesn't need it in two years. So we just looked at that and said, between all the variables and between the, the new yeah. grader coming online, we'll just delete that. So that created a hole of 6,000, which was immediately filled by the county, 2,000. Mm -hmm. And we pushed the 4,000 into reserve for highway because that is that is below what we need. Yeah. So there's a no net change between all those three changes. So gotcha. That was the, the last minute scramble to figure out, you know, verify these kind of things. Okay. That's why it looks the same. We're still looking at it for final edit and proofing. Like I just noticed one thing on the revenue page, this is the kind of stuff we find um, if you turn the, the revenue, municipal revenue. The top line is property taxes and municipal investment. There's supposed to be a line under there. Oh, yeah. See what I mean? Right. So that's what we're looking at. So if you want to take those home, right. sometimes there's a word that's blurred or, or big, and some word next to it is not bold. You know, those are things that we always try to make for the next two days. And things then neat and tidy. Yeah, Krista and I are going to try to have a final uh, for Thursday night for printer because it has to go to the printer on Friday and she wants to post everything on Friday. Sure. So over the next two days, if you find any of those little missing lines, it looks like there's another one under ball fields. So the printer, when I when I set, when I say it, you know, send it to print, it'll either catch those lines or not. And then I have to go back into the software to figure out why it didn't print because I want the printer to see the lines. Anyway, that's just my mm -hmm. printer problem. So based on what I'm looking at in the copy that you have, don't tell me about lines. <laughs> Okay. I know that's a problem. All right. Well, yeah, look for numbers, squished abbreviations. I talked to Amy, is another little change, like in library budget. For years, we had uh, what line numbers? If you go to the library on page four, uh, you'll see heating fuel, almost all the way to the bottom, materials programs. And below materials programs, she had professional services, VOC, GMCL. And that's what it was for years. And I never knew what the abbreviations were. It just it almost came from before Ron. That's all it was. Yeah. So I, I told her, I said, Justin is now reviewing the budget. He asked me the same question. I said, well, of course. I had that question like 10 years ago, but I never dealt with it. So I mm -hmm. called Amy and said, we come up with a better name or get rid of the abbreviations because it's not helpful to the reader. Yeah. And that's how we were reviewing it. Does the reader have a question or stumble over something? So we changed that to the new word, which is memberships and online services, because that's what she has. She has partnerships with other agencies. Gotcha. Which she looks at as professional organizations like a library association of Vermont or something sure. that provide her services through discounts or online catalog services. So that's why we kind of generalized it. Okay. She said that worked for her. So anyway, so that, I just want to give you those two examples of if you're looking at it as a taxpayer that knows nothing about nothing and you're trying to look at the budget, is there anything we can do to help you know, you to help clear you better, not create confusion or whatever? I'll give it to my dad tonight. Say, read this. <laughs> Let me know if you have any it's questions. Right, right. I need to find a couple. Of yeah, I think the cheat sheet on that first page is helpful for people. Yeah, Let's I think that's the most. Yeah, I do too. Honestly, that's extra looking at it. It's yeah. Like, I try to capture everything that's 3,000 up and down yeah. and skip the 500. Exactly. Yeah. So and Jen was looking at it and she had some wording suggestions too. You know, just every time somebody looks at it, it's like, it'd be clear if you did this this way. So that's what we've been doing over the last week or so. Not changing the numbers too much. So the first time the budget's been over 3 million just for. Morristown just said it was the first time we were 12 or something. I read in the paper for that. So just so that brings I don't know if that means anything, but it's the first yeah. time we're yeah. Um so I read that article about Morseville. And have we heard anything about us not doing the budget by ballot? Have you guys heard any people not caring? Okay. No, it's an option. It seems to to be a, a, it's an option to vote this year to put next year's budget. Yeah. Yeah, to do it's like a double step. Yeah. We have never, I think people enjoy having the floor vote on it. And they yeah. didn't like the ballot. You know, for people that like the floor of the for people that right. like balloting, they would soon get the thing mailed to them and vote online. You yeah. know, that's how far mm -hmm. away they are from like, participating. Yeah. But anybody that was on the floor and just feels like that's the tradition. Yeah. It's 
it's hard to hard to get them to switch to the online stuff or well and we can't yeah. like compare the two towns either yeah, very so different. I mean, it's a lot going on in exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's like oh, so apples and oranges. It's, it's sort of like you know the, the school budgets that you know that you're familiar with. And mm -hmm. so many people you get them, but you really don't have any idea what you're voting on. You know, so you can get a whole bunch of people that are just going to say, and it's the same thing with the town budget. If you don't come to town meeting you don't get the you don't tend to get or you don't ask the questions even do right. we will do the informational meeting but i'm sure it's the same for the school oh, yeah no one ever yeah. goes yeah, yeah. yeah. you yeah. might get two yeah. people <laughs> yeah you know yeah, exactly so yeah yeah the bond vote that's on there uh, requires three weeks in the new citizen sure plus your some mandatory informational meeting before town meeting so yeah, we right. have a couple more than usual uh PR source key for town meeting because of all the bonding. Yeah. That is that. Your town select board report is in here too. So yeah, it's just a, that's nice. And the warning. So the warning uses those budget numbers on article nine. And see the two ballot questions, and then you see the normal four vote for a few town office positions. Loyal restorative and home health know that they're zero in the budget, so they'll get fully funded with a positive vote and get no funds if it's a vote down. Mm -hmm. uh, the reserve fund for six, which is the buildings. Uh, highway has a reserve, library has a reserve, so they're excluded from this reserve. Makes sense. And we don't, and the recreation has a reserve for their pavilions and whatnot up at the ballpark. So this is a uh, Guy and Valley Hall, this building, uh, probably any kind of signs and structures, you know, things that are everything else that we didn't have money for before. Um, and Article 7 is the officer of Lister again. That's uh, nobody's running for the three spots this year. We, didn't, we had two open spots last year. Now we have three open spots this year with no candidates. And I don't, we can't, we, we're having trouble finding a paid assessor. So really, I don't know if it's going to be. Um, I did see some new firm is advertising in northern north central vermont so um, corporation type businesses are going to advertise because sure. there's they can charge enough to make it worthwhile or whatever yep. i don't know how they're going to compare with nemrec exactly so, so nemrec is calling for their contract when it expired last june 30. Mm -hmm. they're doing a month to month what are we doing about our contract you know they're wondering because they yeah. sort of know that we're looking at this regional assessment yeah at the same time so something's got to happen at some point so yeah I'm meeting with Terry tomorrow at noon to discuss the step out position with her. And Terry's our uh, assessor mentor for the regional assessor position. So that would be Terry Sabins was the uh, assessor for Morristown. Okay, I was like, okay. So she's doing right. a reappraisal. She was at the meetings. It's been yeah, yeah. Yeah. one of the meetings, and she's been doing sort of this corridor for a while. She did John. So she's willing to mentor and help uh, people get started if that position gets filled. If it doesn't get filled, I think we're going to have to go back to a contract. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah. that, whatever cost that. Yes, the state already, of Vermont's yeah. not going to jump in and solve it for us. Have they given us a proposal? Never. No, that's what they were calling. They were calling about it because they were. I would get the proposal before we go any further, then that way you can't jump up when they realize, hey, you ain't got anybody. We got you by the shorts. And uh, and we're going to keep up the price. Yeah, I, I I think they negotiate regionally because all the towns talk. And when I when Nemrick was hired by us, they had the same deal of Johnson. It's a, you know more of a corporate number. Yeah, that you do for engineers or whatever. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised though, Brian. And I called them and said, "What's your pricing now that you're winning ninety five dollars and one hundred twenty five? Yeah, right. <laughs> 95 for the worker and 125 for the supervisor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was two Don't years think. ago. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, right. Of course, with your select board report, um, I was looking at it. Good. 
bunch of work done, didn't we? I know. I was like, wow, look at this stuff. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, Me too. I did the same thing. I did exactly the well, same thing. I think that's one reason why I like the bullet, because it really is yeah. every motion or significant. You know, right. Is, and then they're significant it has to be really low emotion not to go on here. So yeah. I try to capture actions. Yeah. Even if it's just for a historical perspective. But uh, yeah, a lot of stuff goes through your table when it meeting one or two things, then you add them. Yeah. Pass it on. I know. <laughs> Pass it on. Match stuff on the back. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else you go man. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the people lining up for the job. Yeah, right. Yeah. Everyone wants our job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. Sure. Uh, stop at seven. So, eight is the 50,000 on the side going to Stormwater Capital. Stormwater Capital is where we're running the um, bridge projects. Oh, okay. Garfield yeah. Road, Wickham Island. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. some of the match money. So, we have the match money. Uh, mitigation project on Brook Road and Center Road. Yeah, all those things are in progress right now, but eventually we'll be matching them. So we're running the books so we can do that reserve so we get that money back from the grant. Anyways, we're not, we're not playing the general fund going up and down. Sometimes do that, they'll budget all projects through the general, and then you really lose track of what the operating costs are because you have these huge capital expenses going through your highway yeah. budget, and you see a $3 million budget one year and a $2 million budget the next year. Our budgets, generally speaking, are op true operating budgets. Yeah. We can look at it and say, how are salaries and right. normal inflationary things going? That's and then we try to separate the capital to yeah. the capital fund. So it's a choice, but I think it, it works. Yeah. Okay to explain things. I think it's a cleaner way to explain things. But you can definitely make this stuff complicated. Well, that's for <laughs> sure. how it looks. So <laughs> we can run off. Denmark has a budget format that's probably 60 pages long for what you see on these five. My gosh. If you wanted to show people every line item of right. 50 bucks and 100 bucks and 1,000 bucks, you could really load up. A and some towns do that. Yeah. They'll actually just break the standard and budget. And some people want to pick at the pencil. Well, that's what they're used to. Yeah. So, yeah. Here we haven't heard that. We heard what's my tax rate increase, and we kind of work back to try to justify it through simple explanation. Exactly. Yeah. You know what the schools are looking like this year? Too much. You had to ask me. Yeah. I'm gonna say seven. Okay. I might be completely wrong, so <laughs> don't uh, don't. Okay. Okay. Don't all do that. The annual meeting is the 20th. All right. <laughs> if you want to attend. <laughs> so what? Right. Yeah. Um, we do we do down to us? Oh, we're doing all three of them. Yeah. yeah. We skipped to the warning and they uh, select board report and uh, they all kind of roll together just a little bit. Eventually, we'll be at least two of them. Okay, so you have any more discussion on the budget? That's lovely budget. No, I just you know, sort of one of those. It is what it is. You can't. What town services would people like to not have? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, and you know the thing driving it really is your capital and yeah. the inflation on equipment. I don't mm -hmm. know what we're gonna. Because every time you don't put money away now is money you're going to loan later. Exactly. And we're behind now. So I, yeah, if we you can't wanted keep... to make the tax year look good and get down to 3%, you can do that. But the only place to take from is the capital. And yeah. we're going to end up having a Morseville situation where we have a 12 yeah, or 15% right. increase in four years, you know, to so catch it'll, us up. It'll come. It'll, it'll come. Right. Yes. You're it's trying to be, rate. You know. you know, Jennifer and I talk about how we've gone wide for the last couple of years of um, loans. Yeah. So that's kind of in the back of our minds as we go to this budget process or we have a grant reimbursement come in or whatever. Let's so try to unwind from those and get back to buyer loans, which seem to be in the 0% kind of spread out yeah. thing. But highway, highways, the highway really depends on what you do over the next couple of years. If you can get what looks like 195, whatever is the current budget, yeah, get that closer to 250 a year. 
that looks better for those future purchases. Yeah. But looking for looking if that, if that inflation on those trucks keeps up at 10 plus or 20 percent, it can't. I don't see how it could, but if it does, then yeah. We just have to downsize trucks and tell people that they're going to have to buy studded tires because the yeah. reason for those tandems is the supply of salt and sand on the back of them. The Most frequently you trip. So yeah. you can get, we can get a three hour clean in the morning, but if you go to smaller trucks or lighter trucks, you well, it's, it's your gravel in summer and summer. Cheaper. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah. You're yeah. Pulling, yeah. Just, you're pulling right. gravel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Most. most mm -hmm. I always have a combination of both, you know, some of the workhorses and the tandems, and then you have the other trucks that well, most of them going to tandems. Are they? Because it's yeah, for the main trucks. Yeah. We have a mix. My fire trucks. My fire truck. Yeah. Ron. Mark. We're not going smaller trucks. <laughs> we're, we're just crazy. talking. Calm we're down out there. We're not going <laughs> one done. I was thinking one and a half ton, Mark. <laughs> yeah, five fifty. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've had I'll do myself, but no, not <laughs> happening. Hey, you're so quiet. Not happening. I know. He peers hey, around the tree. If buckwheat low can do it, you can. <laughs> can plow my road with a. Five fifty. <laughs> they plow mine a, a, a ton before. I mean, uh, yeah, four times maybe. Yeah. Four or six times you can do it. So. Yeah. So uh, again, when they with the budget, we have the fifth person full time. Which, uh, okay. practically speaking, you could advertise sooner than July if you wanted to do that. The money's budgeted for July, but you could do it sooner and get going if the. You know, town meeting day has approval for this. It's a big yeah. increase in highway for that. I'd like to see just about the time we get when Reno gets done to put a thing yeah, out so for early that. April. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a good time to advertise too yeah. in the spring, you know, early spring. spring. And that way, everybody I think you're going to see a lot of people talk. Think Boy, so. Oh, yeah, hmm. even with all the jobs that are out there and everything. Telling you, huh. they're even they're even jumping out of the state going for the towns. <laughs> Locals best anyway. Rolling. Yeah. Johnson has been trying to hire. They've had a couple. I think two applicants. I think. So I don't think they're coming out of the woodworks for the town jobs. You watch from our neighbor. I'll put a bet out there with you. <laughs> That's on the record. I've already talked. Well, maybe maybe Hyde Park's better. I don't know, but uh, I know the Johnson I had. I think there's two applicants. They depend position. on the town. Uh, right. Mark, do you want to say anything about uh, Peru, just for the record? Yeah, I talked to uh, Peru's select board chair tonight, and Peru, they Maine. were, what's that? Peru, Maine, not <laughs> Peru, Vermont. Yeah, Peru, Maine, yes, Peru, Maine. They were very interested in our truck for a little while. Their town garage burnt down, lost everything inside of it lost all their tools, all the trucks. We kind of reached out to them, telling them we had a truck coming up and they uh, they were interested, talked to them again tonight, try to get them come on the board meeting tonight. And they were, or he said he talked to his road foreman. They have some steep hills and the automatic will not hold up on their hill. So they weren't interested in our truck. They're looking for an eight speed, Eaton Fuller transmission for their ropes. Okay. And thank us up and down for reaching out to them. Thank you. Yeah. When's the new one supposed to be in, Mark? Well, we're hoping within a couple of weeks. 
Okay, that's what I thought. I'd say two, two and a half, maybe I'd say two to three weeks, I'm gonna say right now. So we could start we could start advertising that truck then. Yeah, we can start advertising it, just not get rid of it till we get our truck, obviously. And we talked about somewhere around 70, right? I don't know. It's been from 75 to 70 to 60. So I, I don't know what we end up coming up with total. 70. Uh, we can always, we can that always. Was you guys. That was all you guys. It weren't me. It was you guys. We can yeah. always go down. Yeah. Yep. Now we go down. We can always accept more. <laughs> More is good. That's right. <laughs> or we can keep the damn thing if they don't want to give us nothing. Well, you want to do a best offer or just a minimum of 70? Let's see how it goes. I would, I would do a minimum. I won't do a best offer because then no, I'd do a minimum. You get a lot more phone calls with best offer. Yeah, you're right. But <laughs> I mean, a lot of let's see how it goes. Then you can always. I mean, it's not like we got to get rid of it tomorrow or something, but if we go with 70 and see what we get. See what happens, right. Yeah. And then nothing happens in a month and a half or so. We can minimum 60 in bids. 60 or 70. Yeah. Well, the, well I think now we start, I think we just start with 70. Uh, we first time. Thing. Yeah. yeah. First, first out of gate, just 70. All okay. right. I have talked to a couple of taxpayers like if they're only going to give you up a trade, keep it for us or whatever. So that's your guy. Nothing new with me. That's your guy's call. It was, uh, I was hoping to keep my truck when we trade that one for a replacement of our chloride truck. Which my hopes were was to get rid of that 2002, 2003 international and put my truck on for my single axle on for the chloride truck. My hopes were, but yeah, I, I really don't know right now because the the trade in that, that trade in was way lower than I was expecting. Yeah, let's let's see how this deal goes first. Yeah. Okay. So, do we want to accept the the, um, the budget budget or? Posting or whatever as written. It looks like we have to do both. Well, we have let's, right. right. We have do to vote budget. on selecting the budget on approving the budget, and then we approve on the warning. Correct. Yeah. Two separate rooms. Yeah, we need the number first. Yeah. The three million eighty nine thousand. Need that approved first to go to the voters. I will make a motion to approve the three million eighty nine. Thousand budget for the twenty three twenty four year. Second. Okay. Any more discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, okay. okay. Anybody opposed? Abstaining. You always have that. Okay. Uh, we'll I've got to squeeze in here. Okay. Yep. Uh, the January twenty fourth motion to sign the necessity resolution for the bond was done. So we sent it to David Rue, who said, oh, you guys didn't do the warning too. We weren't ready for the budget and finishing it. So the bond necessity resolution has to match the date the warning is done. Oh, so and we have to do Tim can only sign both to certify it, not Krista, because they're doing risk management that the bond application would be denied because there's not a town clerk signature. I don't know. It was, it was just one of those really, yeah. you know, I kind of think so. We need to probably just revote with the due, the new date as soon as I sign an SSB resolution for the six hundred thousand dollar bond, and then this is a new one that would be signed and Kim would sign it. So it basically replaces the other one. So it's I like make a revote. <laughs> yeah, I'll make a motion. What he just said to the necessity resolution dated January thirty first. Yeah, for six hundred. For six hundred thousand. Okay. You have a second? Yeah, I'll second. Okay. Any more discussion? All in favor, signify yeah. by saying <laughs> aye. Yes, I am. Aye. Anyone opposed? Abstaining? I always have it. Like 
Who seconded that? Sorry. Susan. Susan. Then we go. Mr. Just see if it do me. Okay, there's that. Now, we're not eating that one, but well, Kimberly was saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, fine. Oh, I know. I think you did. Yeah, so now we're going to do the draft. That's a strange thing to the warning. 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 Okay. Motion to accept the warning. I will make a motion to accept the warning as stated for town meeting 2023. I'll second. second. Oh, okay, roll it. We'll take turns. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sure. Any more discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Nice have it. For your calendars, March 6th, 6, 6 o'clock, yeah. Monday. Show up at school, high school, 8.30. March 6 is going to be here, though. Yeah, they'll be down here at the informational meeting on the town meeting articles one and two. Okay. Primary purpose. Then you can talk about the rest of the budget and whatnot. The primary purpose is the bond. Okay. That's Monday night at 6, and then Tuesday morning. So at 8 30 you'll have one more thing moderator Loki and Mr. Nesky like I said anybody that's interested in learning how to be a town moderator he gladly passed the baton to anybody in the community that's a voter takes probably three or four hours that day once a year plus any special needs if anybody's interested be a moderator get your name in the town board there you go School boards, let more moderator. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ron looking at you like, don't get on my tread on my. <laughs> <laughs> happy to continue, but if anybody has a way to nudge somebody to take it for a few years, I think somebody would want to do it. No, the town moderator have to be resident of the town chair. Yes. For the... Yeah, they're elected on the floor each year. Yeah. No, yeah, maybe but somebody will show up. March 6th meeting for information meeting. Eddie Webster. Oh, yeah, there you go. There, we just nominated Jay. <laughs> oh, he, he would. Be. Yeah, he would. Um, there, you, maybe we could nudge him. We need a motion to accept the warrants. Someone else can make so a motion. Sign. I'll do it. I'll take a so move. Oh. oh, yes. That's my behavior. Let me get second warrant. Okay. Yeah, before you do the one, make sure. Yeah. How's that feel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Jeez. I didn't think you'd be quite that excited. <laughs> Not normally, but <laughs> just on camera and everything. <laughs> Excited about the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness. Uh, you can say, well, one thing about Brian, he's got a little humor to it. There you go. That's very true. Not a, very true. So I, I talked to Roland a little bit before the meeting about the memory page. We yes. haven't had five people yeah. in memory. We haven't had and we have had in memory and then in recognition. Yeah. And then I think. Prior to all this, we used to have dedication to people yeah. who just died in the community for like one page. The idea is that the, the in memory page is for the town officials, the people that have served or you know done community stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the town clerk usually does a official copy of the town report with their gold seal on it, which sometimes the board can invite people up to the meeting, you know, the table, 
or not, depending on how you feel about all that stuff. So I, I think the layout's good, but you want to, like I said, we have a couple yeah. days on reading right. this stuff that's yeah. in your packet. Yeah, yeah. So, I read them. Yeah. yeah, so if you see anything you want to tweak or change or whatever, let me know. Um, that's nice. I will be going through it again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah. You know, it's going to go to the printer. And so it's better to get all the people on just, the page, right? It's just like, <laughs> yeah. It's not. I know it really is. This one was a. Okay. So now we can do the warrant. You made a motion. Yeah. And somebody seconded it. Rolling. Rolling. Rolling did. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstaining. I just have that one. There. How about other business? You've got some more stuff. Yeah, we'll fix that. Uh, Mike, you getting ready to do the CDs, and uh, Kim's involved with signing some of the paperwork for the bank. And the bank had some questions about the exact motion that was made, because it was like scenario four. It didn't, um, it didn't have the corporate rate re resolution language like the C sometime, and it didn't say one million dollars with four C. So again, it's like a reapproval for getting this stuff past the bank. Okay. So that's the proposed that's motion. Big. Yeah, that's the proposed motion that somebody could make that would uh, approve the corporate authorization resolution to invest for two hundred fifty thousand dollars certificates of deposits. Each for a four months term with the community national a community bank and a for a total investment of one million dollars. So move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, you're gonna be great. I know. Yeah. <laughs> So somebody, somebody seconded it, yeah. Uh, I made that okay. motion the first time we did it. All in favor, so you can by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Anybody opposed, abstaining? Great. Yeah, Brian, so, you just sign and date that. And, uh, yep. And get it into the minutes for Jen, because she needs to get to the bank. Get the minutes have to go to the bank. Post that. Too. Everything's got to be neat and tidy. Yep. Yep. Neat and tidy. No more handshake. No. <laughs> uh, so we probably heard in the news. The House and Senate in Vermont are trying to solve the housing problem. <laughs> Governors got all sorts of money going into programs, and you read about it. The Senate has a bill to ban single family homes, create some home ownership. Um, support services of some sort and within the state to coordinate all these programs so you can go down that big list it's interesting in the sense that they're actually looking at some of the details so one of the things that they look at is a 10-year history on the grand list what has happened to these towns and why can't they do more on their own it's almost like this the state senate and some of the some people are saying oh, you guys have all your ARPA money Oh. You have big grand lists, some of you, you're not solving it on your own. You know, it's more of a national, it's a state level issue, but yeah. so yeah. as they get into this, they produce a lot of information on towns. So I just got this today, which is the 10 year change in grand list. And this is adjusted, so they take out. CLA and COD, like somehow they do all the funny math to come up with what has happened on average for Grand List 157 municipalities. I think that's the number. 159. High Park is the 60th highest in the sense if you had the most change, you'd be number one. But if you go down the list, it's eventually getting the High Park is 60. So there's 220 or 200 plus or minus towns that have had flat or negative growth in their grand list. Interesting. <laughs> Which is different than what you, I think what they're doing is they're realizing the reappraisal system is broken. Yeah. <laughs> this goes all the way through 2021 and we know we had some time in there, right. some growth in that, not just the last two years. Right. So I don't know what they're gonna, I don't know what they're gonna do with all that stuff, but they're, they're starting to dig at it. I testified last week to the Senate about our 
little bylaw that we have since 2016, which says any any parcel with a single family can be converted to a duplex without requiring another lot for density. Two acre lot, you can do two duplex. Under prior to 2016, you'd have to have four acres. Oh, okay. that separate unit would be two units on a two acre zone or four minimum. So we got rid of that. And there hasn't been a big rush to do ADUs and apartments and split things in a duplex and make all sorts of mess with the environment with septic problems. And yeah. All. And that was what my testimony was telling senators don't be afraid. It gives people an option, though, if they want to downsize or bring in a care person right. to put you know, a decent size ADU on if they wanted to and not be hamstrung by the 30% cap, which is what state right. law says now. Right. Yeah. So we were running up a lot of people. Like, Why can't I have a duplex? Because you're on a two acre lot. So that was, I think that'll be, I think that will go through. I don't, yeah. the uh, Vermont Planner Association testifies to tomorrow, I think, on the same thing. And they just, they don't want that to be interpreted as, as a, I don't know how they phrase it. You have a house, you turn it to a duplex, call it a single family unit because it's self contained unit for a dwelling. And then apply the 30% ADU onto each half of a duplex. Mm -hmm. So then you have four units. Oh, yeah. They don't want that okay. to happen. Right. They don't mind having the one to a two, but they don't want a one to a two, two to a four. four. Yeah. 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 Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Well. So <laughs> and, uh, just to give you some idea, that's all going on day to day. And I don't know where it's going to end up, but it may not end up in anything more spectacular than some builders getting lush with cash because they put two affordable units on there. 30 unit market rate building. I'm guessing, I don't know. Yeah. So I think they're drilling into that stuff to see exactly what the, and I, I was really surprised. I said a simple thing at the Senate testimony that how are you going to screen track that? How are you going to track your investment? I said, I can tell you, because I've been getting into the grant list in Hyde Park. That if you asked me how many ADU units were created at all, never mind which ones had the benefit of a $50,000 state grant, you're not going to get that from our records. Right. You might have a state record for the recent grant applications or whatever that you could track, but we're not tracking that, whether it was actually built or what the size is or the value. So I don't know. I suggest if they really wanted to track things, they'd have to come up with a different field in the in the state grant list data that we collect with our assessor. You'd have to come up with something that says almost like the exemption category we have now for current use or veterans, that that property somehow is yeah, a unique is, property right. somehow. Right. Uh, hmm. But they're they're trying to figure that out. Last thing I have is the uh, next round of state class two highway grants. They come out every spring. We have to pick a road. Last year we picked Centerville Road, which was denied because the prior year we got Center Road, 175,000 for Center Road. And then they generally put you in a queue for four or five years. It's like Mark's, Mark's saying a Center Road's rapidly getting to a high priority. And I know it was because it was eligible last year and we didn't do anything to do it. Right. So unless the board has other Centerville, ideas, Centerville Road, Centerville, Centerville. Right. Yeah, okay. Center Road is also right. Centerville Road. Okay. So we applied yes, again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that would be my proposal is to keep trying Going to get up I, I don't think you know it's too early to get approved, but we should. Back. Back, but unless you have other ideas. Oh, you need us to. No, eventually. Mark mentioned it last time, right? Too about where the. Yeah, he, start, he was getting there. yeah, so either we're going to have to do some election year paving or something to get the mileage because he's got to get all the way up from right. you know, the S curves or farm stand all the way up by the farm, go up North Hyde Park Road and then go up Centerville Hill. Yeah, that's so a lot. Pave it. That's probably at least double what we have in the budget with a grant. Right. Even if we got the grant, it would be really hard to finish all that mileage. But the only other option is to do the, the one inch overlay, which will get you a few years, but then we'll be right back to it. Yeah. We talked about it. Just gets you three years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I do, I'll prepare an application and it's due April 15th. So there's just Please. a minute. Okay. Yeah.
Can you mention housekeeping? That was it. Yeah, these are beyond the agenda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not like cleaning. No. Do we need to sign that? No, this was the this yeah. invoice is coming in. It's already been approved for what are you going to retire? I when are you going to take the 40? I can take the 40. When are you going to start going south? No, that's just going to sit there and get paid. Yeah. Maybe next year? Yeah. If okay. Wonderful. Okay. 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 I hope it's there. No. Are we done? I think we're done. We just need a motion. A motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're out of here. Oh, want to stop recording. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, less than an hour, folks. That was good. All right. All right.